In this quick tip, we're going to learn about ignoring empty constraints. Here we have a repeating group that is searching for users with a constraint where name contains input A's value. And notice we have ignore empty constraints turned off. If we preview this, by default, our repeating group won't show any results because we haven't typed anything into input A. When we type in what we're searching for, then it'll appear in the repeating group. But if we go back to our repeating group data source and we change the search to ignore empty constraints, when we preview this again, our repeating group will show all of the values returned from our do a search for without relying on the input value since we are ignoring it if it's empty. We can still use it to search for the names all the same, but now the default behavior is more user friendly. You'll find yourself needing to ignore empty constraints often, like when filtering by multiple things. So experiment with this as you build more complex searches with multiple constraints. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io slash academy.